Okay, what I'm doing here is uh, taking a turbo end mill, and I've got that trace line out here, and I'm going to come in here. We're not going to come in here and try to take this all the way in a straight line here and on the other side uh, where we've already came in. Uh, we just want a little tiny pocket, which will give us a line, and we're going to scribe a line. We'll be cutting our scribe line with a plasma torch, uh, and we'll be hand, hand trimming this section over here. But we want to get in here and... Uh, and create a precision flat line that we can scribe to and then we'll, we'll hand finish to that line. Okay, now we can come across here and we can scribe a line and then we can cut that opening there, scallop this out right here. And then we're going to come around here somehow, get in trim close to that bearing support in here. And then I'll kind of dress that off. And we got enough girth in that section there to really support that bearing. We got this, this part clamped in on our grill here. And we're going to make those two lineal cuts up our scribe lines that we laid out on there. And this is what uh, we did as far as the cutout on the far side. Uh, we didn't have to s cut away so much material, but we did get rid of some of the bulk. We got this set up. The backlash feels good. We did have to skull up inside here and inside here so that the uh, roller would fit. All right, now this bearing right here, we're getting ready. We're going to be tacking this in right here. And we're going to be tacking in the, the flat that the whole assembly sets on and this will be setting all the bearings in line for the top side of the lead screws, both sides. We're doing this side first.
it feels like we're uh, we're tight on our gears here, uh, so we may be playing around. Like I said, we can grab a hold of this back here, and we can take a skim off the face or whatever. We can set the backlash on these. I'd rather have that than too loose a backlash. Also, this one here it could be set up, and that could be skimmed down as well. Um, but right now, uh, we got uh, we got this whole full unit right here, completely tacked and ready to go. Okay, when th we got a coaxial indicator in here, but we got this uh, in the three jaws, in and we got our jaws off so we can get in there close. Well, this is a real good set of three jaws in close. It's only the outer set of the jaws that's a little bit more bell mouth. Not that those run perfect right there, but they're pretty darn close. And we're going to tap this thing uh, back and forth until we get it. When you're using a coaxial indicator, which this is here, uh, and you want to get closer, it as far as when you extend it out and it's moving very very slightly when you bring this choke this in and you have more pitch or more angle at a shorter stroke you'll get more movement out of your indicator so that's why I got the short piece in here so that I can really get in here I just happen to have the luxury of being able to get it in here uh, and swing this around without hitting the dial here all right now I'm going to go ahead and just swing a, a zero over here. And uh, we're reading about five right there. All right. So I'm moving her in and out, just trying to check to see if she's a little bit different there. But it's like a two little eggs there depending on how close we were here to the weld how far out we were here so it's like two zigzags there almost so I'm gonna call that I'm gonna call that equal we know that the weld gives it distortion so we just want to minimize that as close as we can okay we're set up with a boring bar here we're gonna go in and we're just gonna barely touch it take a light skim on it uh, this is the one that we had a better fit on the gears in there. We're going to take a skim off the back side there also probably just to make sure that the gears have clearance. Uh, a little little extra clearance, two, two to five thousandths uh, is not going to hurt those uh, bevel gears. It's going to make them last a lot longer. get a bearing okay we're uh, we're just throwing a snap gauge in here we want to check the diameter across there and the welding actually shrunk that almost two thousandths I'm reading about one there and if we figured that we were comfortable we were comfortable about a half over I think is what we had on the micrometer here yeah about a half over <clears throat> so we're going to try to scotch uh, about a half thou cut at a time here.
Okay, that's just starting in there. I like that. We're gonna leave that one alone. And uh, I just barely touched off the back side there, and uh, I did kiss that new material there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one exactly the way it is right there. We went ahead and we skimmed both of these bores here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna put the bearings in here, and I think. I'm going to go push them in with the arbor press there. That one there, we knew it fit like that. Okay. We'll be right back. Alright, I'm going to uh, kind of go as smooth as I can but by hand show you uh, a 360 degree walk around Now this gearbox will be braced and supported and there'll be more gussets coming into the uh, frame that's down below this here as well. So you know it's not just going to be just run on a one inch box tube. It's just the start of getting everything aligned. Now if we ran right and left hand lead screws which uh, you know probably be a few more dollars. They don't give you two different choices there without charging you for something. Nothing can be run off of that uh, tail shaft right there, but you know, gearbox does have one if you wanted to run straight through for something else. Well, I think that's a wrap on uh, the gearboxes there, and uh, kind of at least got that out of the way. Uh, now we can concentrate on a lot of other things and start getting the track assemblies in there. And I needed to know exactly where this was so that the, I can start building the car inside. I need to know where those guide rollers are going to come up and the two end plates, uh, uh, how they're going to incorporate their travel past each of these rods on each side here. So um, uh, as far as gearboxes, that's a getter done.